The lefties on late night TV and social media are having meltdowns over Trump winning 2024. It's awesome. For example, Stephen Colbert came off stunned, literally speechless, as Donald Trump clinched victory in the presidential election. Jimmy Kimmel went on a rant about how the election night was a terrible night for everyone whose lives will probably get better after Trump starts implementing his policies. And then we also had Rachel Maddow being just as crazy as ever, ranting about how America is doomed and how Trump supporters wanted to get rid of a functioning government, insert joke here, to be run by just one guy in some hysterical rant. And then we have the lib nuts on social media losing their ever-loving minds just like they did in 2016. I call this video the reactions you missed. Because in this video, we're going to show you some of the meltdowns that were posted online. And then if you stick with me to the end, after the crying, the threats and the blame games are over, we have a humorous treat for you that I just thought was hilarious. All right, let's get into it. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, please subscribe, hit the notification bell and smack that like button because it helps us with the algorithm. Now, tonight at six o'clock Eastern, we're going to do a live stream. Check it out. I think you'll have a good time. We're going to read some stories of the week. We're going to tweak them with a bit of humor, a dash of sarcasm, and a whole lot of conservative common sense. All right, let's just jump right in. Stephen Colbert and the rest of Hollywood were left scrambling, almost as if they were handed a bag of lemons, right? But it wasn't lemonade they were making. It was a full-on meltdown. Colbert dropped an F-bomb on live TV, an unfiltered reaction to Trump's victory. But then again, I think he was staged. Give it a watch. Stephen Colbert. Well... Well, it happened again. After a bizarre and vicious campaign fueled by a desperate need not to go to jail, Donald Trump has won the 2024 election. Well, let's let's get some reality checks in there, okay? They didn't start the lawfare threatening to put him in prison until after he had announced that he was going to run. I guarantee you they never would have done the lawfare if he said he wasn't running. But Colbert never lets facts get in the way. Deep shock and sense of loss is enormous. Sense of loss. Okay, but let's look at the bright side. This way, at least there'll be a peaceful transfer of power. Yeah, well, Trump never got his peaceful transfer of power in 2016. You know, no one wants to talk about that. It was like 19 minutes after he was inaugurated, the WAPO put out a headline on the front page saying it was time to impeach him. He was president for a whole 19 minutes before the war started against him. And then you had the Russia, Russia, Russia thing. Uh, then you had a bunch of other hoaxes that hit him nonstop. So I really don't give a shit if Stephen Colbert doesn't like that Trump got elected. We love it. And it wasn't just Colbert. Jimmy Kimmel joined in painting a dark picture of Trump's win, calling it a terrible night for just about everyone he knows. <laughs> Now, you've got to ask, is this genuine concern from these clowns or is it just the elite feeling that their power is slipping away? Give it a watch. Let's be honest. It was a terrible night last night. It was a terrible oh. night for women, for children, for the hundreds of thousands of, of hardworking immigrants. Who Doesn't he mean illegal immigrants? Make this country go um, <laughs> for health care. He just almost cried. Oh, turn in your man card. For our climate. For science, for yes. journalism. Wait a minute. They're talking about science? You mean Dr. Fauci's science? For justice, for free speech. It was a terrible night for poor people. It's almost like they just can't fathom that the American people said, we want something different. The media reaction was predictable. Instead of analyzing why Trump won, they went full blame game mode, painting Trump supporters as out of touch with democracy. They're out of touch with what they live under. We don't live under a democracy. We live under a constitutional republic. Big difference. It's almost like the media had a collective panic attack. <laughs> Are we really surprised, though? After all, they haven't exactly been the most, let's say, open-minded when it comes to differing viewpoints. Then came the projection. The left, instead of self-reflecting in a moment like this, they doubled down, suggesting Trump supporters didn't care about democracy, justice, or other so-called higher causes. Whatever. Does it sound familiar? It's the same old song and dance, only this time the American people aren't buying it. Trump's base, on the other hand, saw this as a hard-earned victory for Trump. Inflation, border security, crime. These were real issues for them. But instead of listening, the media turned it back on them, saying they were the problem. This response only fueled the feeling that the media and political elite just don't get it. 
Is this the dawn of a new era? And what would a video about meltdowns on cable TV be without the queen of conspiracy news herself, Richard Maddow? Then the decisive result of this election gives us not just an answer to the question as to what Americans want to do along those lines, it also gives us a really big to-do list as Americans. If you are an American citizen who does not want to ash can the American system of government, who doesn't want a strongman authoritarian system where the whole government is one guy and everything else just... She keeps saying that, but then why is he going to go through the confirmation process? Why is he going to even bother with building a cabinet? This woman doesn't, like most libtards, they, they don't understand that Trump was a businessman. He was the CEO of a very large corporation, very large and successful, and that he delegated his authority to a lot of people. He relied on a lot of people's information who worked for him. And yet this crazy whack job thinks that he wants to run the show all by himself. Exists to serve him. If that is not the kind of country that you want... <laughs> then yesterday's election means you have more to do for your country than you have ever done before. Yeah, just sit down and enjoy the rewards. Just reap the rewards of what Trump's policies are going to bring you. Because now is when... This is the same woman who said that Donald Trump is going to come for her. He's going to arrest her and put her into a concentration camp. She actually said that multiple times. She thinks that she's a lot more important than she really is. When the rubber really hits the road, right? We don't just flip a switch and the American system of government is gone. Democracy is gone. It doesn't work like that. We don't live in a democracy. I mean, not to be boring here for a second, but just getting very real. We now are just another one in the list of countries that has decided to, you know, hey, what the heck? Let's try the strongman thing. Oh, my God. Donald Trump never did the strongman thing in all four years when he was president. Guys, this just goes to show that these lunatics on cable news programs, that they just have no idea what just happened to them. They just don't have a flipping clue that there is a realignment that's taking place right now. I'm going to say this. I think four years from now, she's going to be gone. The others will be gone. Legacy media, gone. You're going to get your news from platforms like this, like YouTube, like X, and others. I mean, that's where you're going to get your news from. You're not going to be relying on these dipshits anymore. There's a reason many Americans are questioning the credibility of these news outlets. For years, conservatives have said that the establishment holds a chokehold on the narrative, on the truth, their truth. If it doesn't fit the mainstream story, it's misinformation. And yet, Trump's victory seems like a big and loud rejection of this one-sided view. Could it be that people are just tired of the same old narrative? Now, social media was no different. Platforms like TikTok and X were buzzing with left-leaning users' reactions, many resembling a full-blown therapy session gone public. If you thought 2016 was intense, this post-election meltdown was the sequel no one asked for, but everyone tuned in to watch. There were tearful videos, angry rants, and even hopes for hardships on Trump supporters. It was divisive, it was emotional, and it was frankly a bit of a spectacle. And it was awesome to watch. All right, so now we got to the point where I'm going to play some of the liberal meltdowns online. All right, let's give this a watch. Hope you gets better. <laughs> Positive energy. Oh. I gotta love that, man. And here's one that Alex Jones' network dropped. This is great. How did we get here? How did we get here? What in the Alice in Wonderland nightmares is going on right now? All I can say is how fucking dare you. If you voted for that man, if you he voted was for anybody other than Kamala and you live like and you live in one of the states that it was, you know, close. Or if you didn't vote, fuck you. Go Kamala. <laughs> I chose family. I chose women. I chose America. I love you. 
How the fuck is this still happening? All I've ever known politically is hatred. I'm done. Look at this I'm guy. done. I'm done. I'm done with you. I'm done with you and your mother and your sister. I'm just done with all of this. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all my friends who are trying to I don't understand how scared of this man I am. If this guy does end up winning again, all of the people who voted for him will be like happy and we they'll are. just be celebrating. We are. And everyone else, everyone who feels threatened by him is fucking scared. Like, we're, we're scared for our lives. We're scared for our friends. How dare you put this man into office for another four years knowing damn well what I it means it was for eight. our country, what it means for us as a people. To know that there is that much ignorance and that much hate in this country, it's so t These are people that are spreading hate towards Trump and his supporters, and they say that we're the haters. We're just laughing at you. Terrifying. It's so terrifying. <laughs> what the fuck are we back in this same situation again? Um, because you guys completely screwed up not only our country, but the world. Who the fuck? fuck is voting for him Gen right here <laughs> 71 million others genuinely fuck you i don't want to hear about how shitty your life gets under his policies <laughs> he's back the owl is back live well she would stab you in the eye with that decision sit with it let it make you uncomfortable <laughs> fuck you here's some more mental half wits all right, guys, it's time to go to bed. None of us are stressed about the election, right? It's all, we all are gonna just go have the best night, the best night's sleep of our lives, aren't we? Positive reinforcement. I had to cut the volume because there's music in there and we'd probably get a copyright strike. Guys, we literally don't even have to panic. We literally don't have to freak out right now. We don't even have to fucking, like, we don't have to freak out. We don't have to freak out because it's not even real. Because it's not real. Bitch, freak out um, the vote. All right, so I had a bunch more, but the video's already getting too long. This is the end one that is hilarious in my mind. Uh, it's got to be a setup. I don't think the guy loves his mother-in-law, but this is the type of humor that we got to start having around here. So give this a watch. This is great. Donald Trump won. And I am very, very afraid that he might deport my mother-in-law. She entered illegally to the country and she lives in a street four, number 47 apartment <laughs> in New York. Uh. I am very, very concerned. <laughs> That's right behind the green apartment. Yeah. <laughs> I have nothing bad happened to her. The gate is always open. The gate's always open. I don't have any dogs. I don't have any dogs. It's street four. Number 47 apartment B. <laughs> if she got a part of how my life would be. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Trump's 2024 win is, for many, the end of an error, a breaking point with the old filtered version of America, left wing filtered. His supporters believe this is the start of something fresh, something new, where the media bias doesn't silence their voices anymore. Could this really be the dawn of something new? Only time will tell, but it's clear that the American people have spoken and they won't be ignored any longer. It's also clear that the lefties are going to continue to act like they are victims, even though they victimized half of the country for over four years. All right. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be kept up to date with the latest political news like this. I'll see you in the next one. Spread the word. Your mama forgot I know it hurts